So a lot of people want to learn how to uh, trade in the foreign exchange market. If you guys are not a part of the elite trade house, I urge you guys to get on there um, every day at 9 a.m., 9 p.m., Monday through Thursday. We trade live um, so you can learn how to trade in the foreign exchange market. But once again, you know, if somebody just wants to trade um, in the foreign exchange market, your back office will have the link to the trade house where again, you can have them just sign up for the trade house um, and get the membership pricing for that where you once again, 25%. If you do everything correctly, um, I have a, a 10, 10, 10 motto that I have. And if you are to get 10 people in at every level that we have, so that's 10 in the membership, 10 on elite social, 10 on the websites, and 10 people on the trade house, you'll have almost a $5,000 commission that will be coming to you. And the biggest thing is you want to utilize us, you know, allow me to do the selling for you, allow Ariana to do the selling for you. And you just collect your commissions. One thing is people are not going to buy from you, but they don't want to miss out on a movement. And if you just do proper edification, um, you will be able to close out on any deal. Now, if you don't know how to do edification, if you go to the elitefortunegroup.com and come down to log in, you will be logged into your back office. We all have access to this, okay? Um, your calendar is up here for all of the events that we have on in case you are uh, not aware of what's happening. Uh, but you guys should come here to marketing hacks, okay, and proper edification. Um, you know, we have some great videos here that are teaching you how to edify. And if we have proper edification, we are closing out on about 80% of those calls. And that is what you want to do. Allow us to do the work so you can enjoy doing the things that you love to do. Um, as well as our book club. Um, is I believe Thursdays at eight. Um, so you want to make sure you tune in for that, uh, as well as our uh, elite power hour every Wednesday at eight o'clock. Um, we want you guys to tune in because we're going to knock things out in an hour. And when I say those things, you know, we're going to handle social media posting, um, you know, talking uh, uh, properly. Uh, communicating in groups and things like that within that hour. Uh, we had a blast last uh, Wednesday, so I encourage you guys to jump on it this Wednesday. And, you know, we just get things done within that hour. Uh, so that's going to be another huge aspect. But please make sure you log into your back office. Take advantage of uh, all of the trading education back here. Um, the books that we've been reading, you know, there's books back here that you can get started on outside of the book clubs reading, um, as well as past trading sessions that you can look in and, and see styles on how to trade. If for some reason you do not have your Instagram plugged up or you do not know what's going on with the websites, you have to come to your back office and schedule a consultation call. Um, so we can be on the same page and we can make sure that uh, we're designing a system that fits you for whatever your niche or your industry is. Uh, once again, if you don't have a niche or an industry, um, we can help you develop yourself. Uh, you just use our products for right now so you can bring in an income until we can figure out what that passion is, what that love is. Um, to start driving sales towards you. Um, Instagram wise, if you have not sent that, please make sure you have this information over to me. Um, when you send it over, do not include the pound sign, just literally list out everything comma. So uh, if it's a hashtag, you know, photo of the day comma, um, food of the day comma, uh, like comma, share. That's how you would list it. Same thing with influencers. Don't put the at sign. Just send me a list of influencers um, on the internet and places, any place around the world, 
um, that you want to target your your audience in that they might take a picture at. Um, you know how people take pictures and then they uh, at you know Washington D.C. or Los Angeles or something. Um, you know, if you want to target that group of people, send me Washington, D.C. in that state. Or if it's a, a specific building like um, the Capital One Arena, you know, send me those targets so I can actually put them into my system and we can make sure that we're, we're um, putting you in front of any and everybody who interacts with those uh, different target sections. Um, let me see. Let me go here. Da, da, da. At any time, if you would like to schedule um, a meeting, uh, if you need for us to do a three-way call for you um, to talk to somebody uh, or a webinar, anything of that sort, I want you to remember this link, uh, make a note of it, and that is tiny.cc forward slash work with EFG. Now this is a quick consultation link. Um, that way, you know, it's not a back and forth thing of trying to see if uh, we're all on schedule. You can come right there and get us all on schedule. Um, and the whole goal is to make sure you can close and sign people up. So utilize that link um, so you can make those closes. Uh, we already put our book club up there. Um, now, if you are do not want to do the affiliate program, um, but you would do know somebody, you know, who you would like to put in contact with us um, and use our deal, uh, tiny.cc forward slash EFG deal. Um, that is where our dollar deal is. Now, once again, do not give anybody that link if you would like to be making money off of it. Uh, you need to get that link from your affiliate back office, okay? Um, that is, if you plan to make money as an affiliate with us, get the link from your affiliate back office. Uh, once again, as long as the people stay active, you're going to get a monthly check um, for as long as they're active, all right? Uh, if you have not gotten into the Forex trading, that link is tiny.cc forward slash EFG trade house. That's going to take you to an app called Telegram. Um, Telegram is where we go and say uh, when we're going live and trading, as well as you can put charts in there, ask questions about exactly how to trade in the foreign exchange market. Uh, so make sure that you do have um, the Telegram open. All of you guys have the membership. So, you know, I would advise you to take advantage of everything that we have. Okay. Um, few more things. Uh, don't forget, make sure that you, if you have not, um, pick up our team book, the OJ, uh, I always say the OJ, the Mayo Clinic Guide to Stress-Free Living. Um, I'm a firm believer that you cannot excel to where you want to be if you have stress in your life. So the first thing um, for us to do as we make money, just because you make money does not mean the stress is going anywhere. If anything, it might bring more stress into your life. Uh, but as I've experienced this, I've also noticed if we can first figure out what stress is, if I can teach you what stress is, how to notice stress, and how to remove yourself from stress um, around you, um, then I can get you on to, you know, making an abundance of money that we all desire um, to build our legacy the correct way. So uh, the Mayo Clinic Guide to Stress-Free Living has been a major part in my growth as well as other members' growth. Uh, so I definitely encourage you to pick that book up. Um, we've actually made the Constitution off of that book. So please pick that book up have it, read it, read it a couple of times, okay? Um, and we will go over that more 
Um, as I told you, that is our team book, so we're always talking about it. Um, lastly, uh, before we click over, uh, if you guys are not aware, um, you know, when we build our websites, we use a program called ClickFunnels. Um, now, ClickFunnels is uh, it's a little pricey, and um, that's the reason why uh, we started this to get rid of the fear of the price from ClickFunnels, and you know, we'll help get you going, um, build you up to a level where, of course, you can start making um, some funds. But uh, once we get you going and moving and, you know, you're, you're, you're branching off and your, your business is growing, uh, nine times out of ten, you're going to need to set up your own ClickFunnels account or um, use our managed team um, to really manage your account. Uh, so I will put that link in there. Um, you can get a 14-day free trial. Uh, but once again, this is what we already do for you with your uh, membership. You just have to answer some questions for us and we can build a website for whatever it is that you uh, want, you know, in your niche or industry. Um, but take advantage of that, um, you know, at least just looking at it, see how it operates. I'm not saying that it is, you know, easy to throw websites up, but I will say that ClickFunnels has made it the easiest that I've ever um, experienced so far in this industry. Um, so that's why we enjoy it quite often. So uh, those are all of the things that I wanted to go over with you on my end. Um, just keeping you updated with what's going on. We had tremendous growth um, within the last couple of weeks. Uh, we want to continue to grow. Um, I want to make sure everybody is creating passive income online. So I know a lot of you guys have sent me um, different things to build your websites, uh, but a lot of them were for your time, your actual time, um, you know, to be there. And I, I want all of you guys to really think about this opportunity that we have in front of us and um, what I'm, I'm trying to get you guys to commit yourselves to is to creating a revenue that is online. It does not require you to physically be there. Uh, one thing about uh, performance industries, when you really have to be there, you know, you don't make money unless you're there. Uh, so even, you know, we've had some uh, classes that people wanted to do, you know, things like that. You have to physically be there. You know, God forbid you're sick that day. You know, you can't make money if you're not there at that class. But if you start to think and say, well, I might can make a class that I can teach online. And if you just do your class, like you do your class on Tuesday um, in a local area like you were going to do anyways, just record it and make it a good quality video as you were going to do it anyway record it and now let's work something up online where we could sell an online class where people can log in and get that same video that you did locally we just happen to have it recorded and you know we could talk over it and do different types of things but when we have quality products like that online we can sell them forever it takes us five dollars to go to facebook and tell facebook I only want you to put me in front of the people who are interested in, um, you know, vegan. You know, I don't want to talk to anybody else, Facebook. Only put me in front of people who are interested in becoming vegans. Now we've eliminated all of the market. We're only in front of the people who want to hear about vegan. And now it's our job to sell this vegan information only to the vegans and it only costs us five dollars if it doesn't work okay we have to go back redo some things and spend another five dollars once that five dollars can make you back ten dollars then you start adding to the ad 
you know, don't waste money. We're all about making sure that you can make as much money as possible while you're asleep, while you're with your kids, while you're enjoying your family, while you're doing whatever the hell it is that you want and love to do. We've been lied to for a long time. We shouldn't be working until we're 65 plus. I don't know. The, I, I can't remember the retirement age, but that is a lie. And we just have to make a change and start utilizing the millions upon millions of customers that are online each and every day. You just have to think if there's a hundred million customers online, if we can just get 0.1% of them to come into you each and every day, you will have financial growth that is tremendous that you couldn't even imagine. So think outside of your neighbor, think outside of your family member and your friends and start thinking online. Online is where you can make the most money possible because there's no cap to it. There, you know, new customers come online each and every hour. So we have to start to utilize that. Um, now, with all of that said, um, you know, I want to turn the floor over to Ariana because, uh, you know, one of the major things that we do is Instagram, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, Snapchat, social media training. Um, and that's what's given us the attention that we need. And I told you guys, um, people don't like to be left out. So if we work this social media correctly, like Ariana is going to go over with you guys. And if we're posting our hashtag and we're doing the acts like we need to be, people are going to see a movement and they're not going to want to miss out on it. And it's going to make sales even easier for each and every one of you guys. Uh, but um, if you guys have any questions throughout the time, put them in the chat. I'll answer them. Um, Ariana, I'm going to turn the floor over to you. Um, and I appreciate all you guys for tuning in. Okay, can you hear me? Yep. All right, thank you so much. Good evening, everyone. It's so good to see you all on tonight's call. So who's excited to learn how to turn their social media from drab to fab? Like drop a 111 in the comment. I wanna make sure that you guys are alive and well. This is gonna be an interactive training. I'm gonna just go over some details and then we're gonna actually create our first super engaging post. Okay, thanks, Brittany. Thanks, Dr. Davis. Awesome, 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 awesome. So I'm gonna share my screen here. Um, let's see here. Perfect. All right, so can you guys see my screen? Oh Lord, I can't see the chat now. All right, so just keep, keep track of my of my chat if there's any questions. If you guys have any questions as we go along, uh, please don't hesitate to let me know. All right, I'm gonna hit present here. Okay, awesome. So this is your one-on-one -on -one course. So we're gonna talk about how to create engaging posts for social media. And I just wanna put a disclaimer out there, guys. Like, we come across as being very incredible experts, but honestly, we just try things and see if they work, okay? So I wanna encourage you all, if you're listening to the sound of my voice, if you don't know what you're doing, that is fine. You don't need to know what you're doing, you just need to get started, okay? So here's the deal. Um, this was my page almost a year ago, which is so crazy, um, December 26, 2017. Um, I had just, matter of fact, I think I was still in Los Angeles at the time when I posted this, and I had just restarted my Instagram page. So you all, I literally restarted my Instagram last year okay and as you all see here um this post i believe was the first time i posted my transformation photo in the summer i want to say it was august and i have 819 likes um one of the major things that has changed since i started my page a year ago until this past summer and even now is that i started using efg social right i got smarter with my business i said to myself Matter of fact, it's so crazy. I said here, I'm claiming everything in this year, in this upcoming year of 2018. And um, it's really incredible that I'm almost full circle to that stage and literally exactly what I said I was going to do happened, right? The reason why is that, like I said, I got smarter with everything. I started really focusing and doing research and learning how to treat my social media like a business. And then in walked EFG Social about six months later. And 
I literally took my page from about 1100 followers to almost, I think I'm at 4,600, almost 47. So anything is possible, guys. You just have to keep going. However, you got to put some strategy behind it. And so that's what we're going to be talking about today. So if you're excited, if you are in the 43 likes right now and you want to go to the 819, just show me some love. Drop my favorite emoji, which is the money bag. Throw it in the comments down below because we want to get you all making some money. So what resources do you need to take your social media to the next level? Number one, this is mandatory. You got to get on EFG Social. Either you're the $1 membership for 30 days, you're doing the direct EFG Social membership, which I believe is... 69 for the basic and 99 for the full package and you want to get the full package um, You know, you need to have an EFG social account. Why it's going to take away all of the busy work out of your social media I'm trying to tell you guys I have been in several network marketing companies and they'll tell you Oh, you need to like and comment and follow 100 people every single day to do that guys by yourself on on a minimum takes an hour and a half and to be honest, the times that I did it, I fell asleep. Like I was just, I was like, I can't do this. There's gotta be another way to like and comment and follow people that doesn't take an hour and a half of my time. Cause it's all about maximizing your time. So at a minimum mandatory, you've got to get your EFG social account. If you've been loving you and using EFG social, let us know. We dropped a survey today, guys, because we want your feedback. Let us know that it's working and let us know what feedback that we need to do to improve it. All right, the next thing that you need is a notes app. So whether you're an Android user, um, and we don't know many of those, or if you're using um, an iPhone, you wanna pull up your notes app, and I'm gonna be showing that a little bit later on why that's important. Um, I like using the notes app. I sometimes trigger between, I'll go back between the notes app and also using a document, like just typing that on my computer because it's a little easier for me to see. But notes is something that's on your phone in the moment. And a lot of times I'm often inspired by what's going on in my surroundings. So I just pull up my notes and write down some information and some notes and then I come back and turn it into a post. But I'm gonna be walking over training on how I do that shortly. Um, the next thing that you guys need to include in your post are emojis, right? People love pictures, right? Emojis are what? Colorful, they're funny, they're another way to express an emotion, right? And people are attracted to those emotions. So it's important if you're not including emojis on your post, you're missing out on money, all right? You're leaving money on the table. You're, lo you're losing people on the table. Um, the next resource that you need, and I'm going to be calling on you, Mickin, shortly to talk about this, is a product or service to sell, right? So for those that don't know, I'm an online health and fitness coach, and I help transform the lives of women through their mindset, their body, and also... Um, through their nutrition and health. And so a lot of my posts speak to those different things, right? Because that's what I'm, that's the service that I'm here selling online. So you gotta have something that you're putting out. And if you don't have anything, guys, set up a consultation, right? Tiny.cc forward slash work with EFG. We have times throughout the day to talk with you all to get you started on what it is that you're desiring to do. And the last resource that you need is patience. Like, be patient, be consistent, and trust the process, okay? So does this sound good? Everybody good so far? Any questions? Okay, so the formula for an engaging post. Number one, high quality content, all right? This can be either a picture of you, a picture of someone else. Maybe it's a results photo. It can be a quote. Now with these quotes, guys, and I'm gonna show you how I get all my quotes, I use Google but I search for quotes that make me say something, right? If it makes me stop in my tracks, there's a pretty good question that someone else is gonna be inspired by it, right? But when I tell you guys, Google, 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 right? If there's no author to the quote, you are free to repost it. Like Google is there for you, so use it as a resource that it is. Or you're posting your product, right? And this is where I'm gonna call Nick in shortly to showcase what he's been doing on his social media, but if you just show what it is that you want your audience to take a look at or engage with, um, it needs to be high quality. Um, the next thing is you wanna create a well thought out caption with sentence breaks and emojis. So once again, you wanna create a caption where people are going to actually take a moment to read what you have to say. Now, the way that you do that is one, by posting something of good value, and two, by posting it with sentence breaks in between the words. Why is this important? Um, you all hear the time, you all will start to hear us talk all the time about the algorithm, right? The algorithm is essentially how the social media gods, <laughs> so to speak, put your content up over someone else's. And this is all about 
the algorithm. And it's the amount of time that someone's either commenting on your post, you're commenting back to their post, and how long they're staying on your post to begin with. And so it's a little trick, and people don't know this. Like when you add these sentence breaks, you're able to have somebody stay longer on your social media posts, which boosts your algorithm. And in some instances, that actually gets you on the Explore page, which is where when people go to open the Explore on Instagram, they're then seeing your content. So this is, this is all science, guys, but this is how it all really works behind the scenes. In addition to that, you've got to have a call to action. It can be something as simple as drop an emoji below if you want more information. Drop an emoji below if you feel in what I'm saying. Drop I'm in if you're interested in my next challenge. Get the people to do something back to you. Again, this boosts your algorithm. It provides you people that you can actually contact directly to offer your service. And it's another way to engage with your audience, right? So these are all ways that are gonna take your post to the next level. And last but certainly not least, you have got to have your hashtags, right? Um, I've found a new app that I use called Preview that actually gives me 15 to 20 hashtags in a group that I can copy and paste and put right on my post. And these are hashtags that people are already, already adding content to. Um, we have our hashtag Elite Fortune group. You're welcome to use that as well. We encourage you to use that, especially when you're sharing your affiliate links. Um, and then you have a hashtag for whatever your brand is, right? So my brand is Ariana Still Fitness. That's my hashtag. And I want to encourage people to start using that. And I tell them to start using it if they ever try a workout that I do or they post the fitness wear that I sell. Okay. So, so far, so good. So here's the formula. Does this sound hard, guys? Does this sound like something that you can't do or start to incorporate in your post? Like, please let me know if it sounds hard because I'm going to tell you that it's not. Okay. Like it honestly isn't hard. You just have to try it and see what happens. So. I know I'm moving super fast, but I want to be respectful of you guys' time. But if you have any questions, let me know. All right, you guys ready? So let's create our first post. Now, because you all have taken the time to hop on this call this evening, I'm going to drop some goods. I uh, invest in myself frequently. It's something that I learned from Dr. Davis, and I paid for a course that um, was all about social media content and developing. So this is something that I'm constantly studying. Like I said, I'm not an expert, but I take the time to actually invest and learn more about it. And um, here's something that I'm gonna drop for you guys. 150 blog post topics. Now, you don't have to use this if you have a blog. If you have a blog, great. If you don't, these are different things that you can talk about that might trigger some ideas on what to share on your social media, right? So if you're in business and branding, why is passion important for business? that becomes the headline of your post and then you drop two or three points about it and then you drop a call to action below right very very simple guys um if it's travel here's some posts about travel right how to travel with the bet how to avoid being homesick advantages of traveling solo right health so i come right in here guys i will show you one that i used um, a little bit ago how meditation can help your health by doing cardio alone isn't good enough so i know i have some fitness people on the line i'm gonna drop this link now in the chat but use this um for your resources oh, i don't know how to drop in the chat all right i'm gonna text it to to dr davis and he'll send it to you guys do, 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 do. cool all right so you guys now have those um posts evernote is also amazing as yes, evernote is really good evernote Brittany is the one where you can um is the one where you can um, do the voice record. Is that correct? I believe that is correct. Okay, awesome. So now I'm gonna go over here. So one of my posts that I did. All right, let me close out of this. Hold on one second, guys. I can't see my little box. Okay, cool, we're back. So um, what I did is I took one of the posts that I just showed you guys from the 150 blog post topics, and I decided to do something about smoothies. Um, for those that don't know, one, I'm running a 90 day vegan challenge, and a part of that vegan challenge is the first 10 days you do a smoothie detox where you replace two meals um, and turn those into smoothies, right? And I actually had not incorporated this into my diet before, did it for those two weeks, continue to do it now, and it was absolutely amazing. So um, here are the 
here's the way that I turn this into a post. So this was five smoothie ingredients that will boost your weight loss, right? So instead of doing the five, I did this emoji. I did the five hand because that's five, you know, same thing. Boom. Spinach plus other leaf, leafy grains. So instead of using a number, I'm using emojis. And then I went ahead and bolded this. Now, it didn't end up showing up bold on my social media. But the point is that I went in here in my notes app and I format it first before I actually post it to my social media. Okay. So the next thing that I have on here, I talked about avocado, pears and apples, ginger. Um, this is actually some hyperleaks in here as well. Water. And then here, did I miss anything? What do you love to put in your smoothies? Comment below. All right. And then I have my hashtags, healthy food, healthy eating, vegan, plant-based diet, vegan life, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Does this make sense so far? So all I did is I took a topic idea and I made it my own. And then I added the uh, different content areas. I dropped an emoji. Guys, I literally got this from Google. And I Googled a couple different articles to find out what smoothie ingredients actually boost your weight loss. And then I used the ones that were most relevant to me. So I, that's how I made it my own. All right. So, and then um, I dropped my hashtags and had people come to comment on this page. So I'm actually going to um, share my phone. Let's see here. So I can show you guys what this looks like on, uh, oops, my phone's not plugged in, what this looks like on my page. So is this helpful for you guys so far? Does anyone have any questions? I'll take a quick little pause here. Any questions? Any questions? Okay. <laughs> All right. Let me open up the chat box here. All good? Perfect. 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 Okay. So I'm going to, can everybody see my phone right now? Just, just uh, say yes. I'm going to open up my Instagram page. All right, so this post was, I believe, right here. Yep. So here we go. So here is my actual post. This photo, oh, thanks for the reminder. <laughs> this photo I got from Canva, and I'm going to show you Canva really quickly. I put my, um, my uh, screen name on here. All right, and then here's my post, guys. So I took it from the notes, I copied and pasted, and dropped it right here, all right? And then I also happened to have gone live that week, so I went ahead and plugged myself, check out my live video, right? There's my hashtags, and look, I got some comments on here, boom, great looking vegan food, da 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 da, da right? So there you go. I posted the same thing on my Facebook page, so I'll show you how I did that. Let's see, actually, I'm not going to waste so much time going back through that. Um, but there you go, right? Another good example is we're actually going to go to Micken's page. Oh, let's see if I can find him quickly. Mm -mm -mm. What'd you say? What, what is it? Oh, it's Devin. Thank you. Here we go. Boom. So Micken's has started to incorporate the social media styling in his own posts, right? So probably my favorite one was the Sarasoff one. Um, here he has high, um, engaging, high quality content. So the picture of the soursop, for those that haven't have it, it's actually really amazing. He shows how he juiced it, a beautiful photo here. You always want to take pictures in natural lighting at all possible if you can. He also dropped a post also about the benefits of graviola, which is also known as soursop. Cool. Now look at this. He has the content here. He asked, does anybody know where to buy them in the area? Comment below if you've had it. Cancer prevention, superfood. So what I would have added here is an additional paragraph about the benefits or about your personal experience so people know that you've actually used it, right? Um, because you always want to be credible through social media because people will call you out with the quickness. And then down below, look at all these comments that he's got, right? I'm from Trinidad. We drink it. Um, try Whole Foods or Trader Joe's. Not sure where to purchase, but thanks for posting, right? Honestly, you guys could be sitting on a gold mine of information because you're too afraid to just put stuff out there. People are dramatically fascinated by the normal day things that you do, right? And not even that, when you post things that you're really into, um, they're then going to want to help you, right? Or because they're not just helping you, they also want to help themselves, right? 
So this was really amazing. Shout out to Mickens for doing this, but this is exactly how you do it. Um, Mickens, if you're still with us, um, is he still on the line? Yes. So tell us about your experience so far using this style and has this helped to increase your engagement on your social media profile? Um, so for me, uh, it's definitely, I've definitely seen a complete 180, uh, not, yeah, 180 in, in, in the growth of my in, uh, interaction on my website. Mm -hmm. So uh, at first I was a little uh, hesitant about posting uh, information about my life. I just figured nobody cared. Mm. Then um, after the, the, the conversation with you guys, it kind of uh, reinforced that uh, the positive idea, like people do really want to know what's going on in your life. So creating this content is kind of easy because it's just what I do on an everyday basis that I thought no one cared about. But a lot of people just don't know about the simple things because a lot of people just go about the daily life as they've been living their whole life and never thought about these new opportunities or new ideas about how to live life or what's going on in, in the world. So ever since I started posting the content the way that you guys taught me how to um and i guess what just learning how to use the algorithm and then the hashtags i've seen a lot of uh interaction on my on my website for sure um i normally only get maybe like 50 likes or maybe one or two comments just from people that i know but ever since then i've been getting between 200 and 300 likes and then tons of comments because i never had to call action i was just posting it and if you like it you like it you don't you don't but the call to action really gets people engaged so and that's, that's what I've been doing. I just thought about what I do in my everyday life that people probably never thought about doing or people want to know. So that's just how I go about it. And thanks to you guys help us. It's been, it's been going pretty good. Business has been booming. Awesome. Congratulations. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. We're so proud of you. I, I literally texted Travis like, oh my gosh, two posts in one day. This is our best student ever. I'm so excited. Hey, so I'm excited. I wanted to make one quick note, or if you could scroll back down to his comments. <clears throat> um, we, what we did, uh, what I reminded him to do is when you're doing these call of actions, one, everybody's Instagram account should be switched to a business account. Um, so it shouldn't be on that other setting, switch it to a business account so you can see your followers. Uh, exactly the age group when they're interacting the most with your profile um and the reason you want to know this information is to respond to the comments so uh what i told mickens um you know as he's responding to the comments you know don't respond to people as they comment instead you should be looking right here so you know if you posted on monday um, click on audience, Ariana. No, and now you can actually see where your audience is coming from as well as the age group. And this is going to be a big factor when we start to pay for Facebook ads because I can see from Ariana's, um, you know, age group that we should probably be promoting her product between the ages of uh, 24 to 36. Um, you know, that's where we would get all in. Uh, click on women. All right. All right, go to men. Okay, so you know it's consistent between females and men um, of that age group. Now scroll down more. Keep going. Now, this is the key part to your comments. You know, I can see so on Sundays it's telling me that her biggest interaction um is between the hours of three and eight so she should be responding to all of those comments you know let those comments build up for the day find out when you have good interaction like i know myself i have good interaction at uh 8 a.m well 9 a.m as well as between uh 6 and 9 p.m you know so that's when i want to respond to all of my comments. Why? Because that's when my people have their phone in their hand and I'm trying to beat the algorithm and get on the Explorer page. And if I respond to everybody right now, chances are they might respond back to me as well. Uh, but when you respond, I don't care if you don't use any words in your response. Every response needs an emoji. I cannot 
stress that enough. People hate reading, but people love pictures. So if you respond to somebody's comment, you know, um, you could put true emoji or you could just put um, the fist sign emoji, but make sure it's an emoji to uh, keep them interacting. And I'm telling you, works like a charm. Awesome. Thank you so, so much. I'm so glad you brought this up because you can exactly see what's happening with your engagement. So, um, you know, this isn't just a thing that we're doing. Like, this is a real thing that you can track and see what's working. So, again, um, this is all my, you know, this is where my audience engaged with and everything. I can also see, um, I love this. You can actually see which posts are actually getting the most. Uh, eyes right because then you know i need to post more of those things right um as well as your story views and everything so does anyone have questions about about this at all right now and again i got i got here by clicking on let me see if i it's the three dot no yeah the three dots at the top and then you hit insights okay and that's how you get to your insights of what your page is actually doing okay Let's see. Oh, the last thing that I wanted to share is your homework. So um, if this is something that you're not currently doing or something that you need to improve upon doing, which of course the biggest room in the world is a room of improvement, then um, I want you all to give it a shot, okay? So what you first need to do is uh, make sure that whatever content that you're creating, um, that you actually put it into a note um, so that you can see what it looks like before you post. That way you can fix any spelling errors, you can fix any punctuation errors, or anything like that. Um, I'm gonna keep the chat open. Um, Says so this used to be my personal page, should I limit the personal things that I post now? Great question, Chrissy. So if the personal thing that you wanna post is, directly related to a story that has to do with your brand and i'll explain that a little bit then you can post it i guess i would want to know more about what personal things you want to post i mean realistically because your social media is now a business you shouldn't be posting anything that is not reflective of who you are as a business person right so like and that's really actually that's a really important point that i want to bring up like for example i had a birthday last weekend i think and i went out you know, I had dinner and everything, and then there was like an after dinner when I went out to the club. Um, to be honest, I was really drunk, and there was nothing from the second half of my night that I posted on my social media. Why? Because it's not reflective of my brand. Like, yes, it's okay to go and have fun and whatever. Like, nobody really cares about that. It's great that you have fun, but you don't have to post everything on social media because your social media is now a business. So does that help to kind of answer your question? So use your discretion. If you have any questions, ask first before you post, and we will give our you know, opinion on whether or not that's good or if there's something that you can change with that. A way that you can turn it into something that is personal um, would be like, for example, um, here's a good one. So I posted this quote this week um, and what I talked about is, you know, something that happened. I actually resigned from my job on Tuesday and it was so timely that I found this quote and I posted it because I said today's the most, one of the most encouraging things I've ever done in my life. Um, blah, 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 blah. So this has to do with my quote unquote personal life. And it was a personal thing that I shared on social media, but I turned it into something that could be engaging with my audience. Right now, this is something absolutely that I would love to help you with Chrissy. So like I said, if you have any questions on anything and you want to know how to turn something personal into something more business related, um, I can help you with that. But again, um, first thing first, like if there's something that you wouldn't want anyone to see on social media, then, and now that your social media is a business, then you don't need to post it. All right. So does that help to answer your question? Let me know. Let me know. Yes. Okay. Awesome. 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 Right. And so then, you know, again, I always have a call to action on everything that I post. Um, tell me in the comments below what you have been courageous on and stepped along your faith in. Okay. So, um, any additional questions? Anything, anything? I'll point out another few things, especially on Instagram, that you all need to take advantage of. Um, highlights, this is the way that you can store 
your stories, right? Because your stories only live for 24 hours, but if you drop it in a highlight, then it lives forever. And this is a really fun way to just showcase different sides of like your brand. So, um, you know, people know that I do ve that I'm vegan. I have transformations as well from previous fitness clients. I literally throw them right here. You can always come here and see, you know, different people that I've used, the programs that I've done as well. Um, I'm also into DIY projects. So if you're ever like trying to figure out how to post other things outside your brand, just drop it in a story, but keep your messaging consistent throughout. Okay. Um, I show different things related to my people that were my fitness stuff. And it's great because this is the way to kind of document the progress and everything, right? Like it's so important that we show, oops, sorry guys. It's so important that we showcase the journey uh, because people need to, um, it's really important to show the progression of where you were to where you are now. And that's why it's so important to share on social media, period, because the credibility of your brand is what's going to make you the most money, in my opinion. And you'll see that time and time again from other gurus and everything. They just document every single thing that they do. Um, so that's another way to show your content on social media. So we have about four minutes left. We want to be respectful of you all's time. And we thank you all for being engaged um, for this hour. So are there any additional questions, comments, or concerns? Let us know. I saw Brittany was texting me about something. Let's see what she was saying. Oh, good. So Brittany is actually working on getting her blog up and running. I want to go ahead and say that out there because now we have some additional accountability with the rest of the group. And now you have your 150 blog topics that you can use to help trigger some new and different content ideas. Um, Brittany, if you do me a favor, can you drop your blog link so that we can all subscribe to it and see your updates um, when they're available? Please and thank you. All right, any other questions? Dope, dope. Uh, let's see more. Uh, Ariana, definitely want to thank you. Uh, did an amazing job. Um, of course, each and every time we're on here, um, we're going to give some amazing advice. So I definitely pre uh, appreciate you for uh, helping the squad out with that. Yeah, no problem. My pleasure. <clears throat> Just a brief overview, uh, quick, quick rundown. You know, we have a lot of members who are into a lot of different things. If you guys don't know, um, Chrissy, uh, she has a workout, ab workout routine, as well as torque fitness for the ladies. Um, I really, I want to get her to make those classes online. I think that would be dope. Um, and we could sell those online. Um, Mickens, um, he is into holistic living. Um, he's definitely been a key person with my health as well. Um, Cool, dope. Uh, so um, he's been posting a lot, um, dealing with crystals and, you know, uh, healthy eating, things like that. Uh, so definitely check him out. Um, also, as I'm going through this, guys, I want all you guys to put your Instagram names in the chat to make sure everybody's following each other. Um, hold on for a second, Holmes. Um, Lorenzo. Uh, Lorenzo just graduated. Well, just finished school. Um, so thank shout outs to Lorenzo. Uh, but he will be coming back up here and he's going to be working with me directly. Uh, I'm going to get him going with uh, with everything going on with the Elite Fortune Group, plugging him in. Um, Brittany <clears throat> Sade, of course, she's uh, an extreme vegan. Uh, she, been a vegan for some years now I, I, I forget exactly how many years but um if you ever want vegan advice definitely she's posting about vegan uh lifestyle each and every day um and kevin uh has been trading with us uh been trading with me for a while now um and he's actually big into the uh cryptocurrency market um so you know if you guys want to know more about cryptocurrency um, you could easily reach out to him, you know, and I'm, I'm telling you guys all of this information, um, because we have to start utilizing, um, our network. Uh, that's how you get to the level of where you want to be is utilizing the people, uh, around you. And, um, that's what we're, we're going to start doing here with the whole elite fortune group thing that's going on. Um, 
the last thing that I have to say is remember that we're doing everything for business. Uh, we're in this game to, of course, make money. Uh, but you have to be willing to make money for a reason. There's got to be something behind the reason that you're trying to make money. And, um, you know, Mickens is one of my, uh, well, my best friend. And we've always been into everything together, trying things out. And, uh, you know, with this online thing, it him having his child is what finally made him open up to say, I don't care what the person next to me thinks. I don't care what my family member thinks about what I'm doing for my business, because this is an online business. And I'm telling you guys that your friend, uh, when they see the transformation and the things that you're doing with your accounts and the lifestyle change, they're not going to understand what's going on. Um, you know, they're going to give, negative energy and you have to easily be able to block that out and understand the bigger mission of what we're trying to do here and that's create a legacy so our children don't have to do the things that we relied about that we had to do in order to become financially free uh because if i've known what i've known now you know uh the education system just put us in debt and if i can have my child debt free before he even gets to that education system of college um, you know, we're already ahead of the game. So I want all of you guys on this line, um, you know, you've been committed uh, to what we have going on here. I want you to really embrace the online business that we have and start to post and not have a care and really take this thing serious. It really only takes an hour per day for you to invest into your online brand. Um, you know, I would prefer three to four hours just to use all social medias across the platform. But the point is to get started, like get started somewhere and don't have a care. And we're going to be your care team. We're going to pat you on the back and let you know that you're doing the right thing, that you're doing good. We're not going to uh, sugarcoat things for you because I want to see you guys successful and of course, I want to see this thing taken to the next level. So um, if you guys have any comments, um, questions, hop on now. Um, we'll leave it open for a couple seconds. If somebody wants to say something, if not, um, I will see you guys Wednesday at our Power Hour session. And don't forget, um, tomorrow, 9 a.m., we go live trading. All right, everybody take care, um, and I'll talk to you guys later. Enjoy your night, and post, post, post. Affiliate links, too. Sign up for your affiliate link. Thank you guys so much. Have a great evening. Adios.